The Open Airway, Neutral C-Spine Maneuver A single maneuver that protects both the airway and the cervical spine of children arriving on a backboard. Our Goals 1. To increase awareness of this simple but critical maneuver that protects both the airway and the cervical spine. 2. To make the open airway neutral C-spine a reflex maneuver in the care of young children placed on backboards. The Problem It is still very common for young children and infants to arrive strapped to a backboard without padding under the shoulders. Without padding under the shoulders to raise the apex of the shoulders to the level of the external auditory meatus of the ear, the airway is potentially compromised, and the cervical spine will not be in a neutral position. In medicine it is uncommon that one intervention can simultaneously address two serious problems, but maintenance of an open airway and the establishment of a neutral cervical spine in the pediatric trauma patient is one such intervention. Emphasizing this serendipitous association will hopefully augment awareness and facilitate teaching concerning both pediatric airway management and cervical spine immobilization in a neutral position. After a fall from a crib a six-month-old boy sustained a traumatic spondylolisthesis of the second cervical vertebra without neurological deficit. This radiograph was taken with the child on a standard backboard without shoulder padding. Note the dramatic anterior translation of the body of C2 on C3 and the wide gap at the fracture site. The same child on a backboard that has a recess for the occiput. Note the improved alignment of the fracture and the open airway. The unwanted consequence is called supine kyphosis anterior translation. This important article by Herzenberg et al. was published decades ago and presents 10 children with frighteningly abnormal cervical spine x-rays resulting from lack of padding under the shoulders to neutralize the cervical spine. This problem occurs because in children, 1. Head circumference grows logarithmically. 2. Chest circumference grows linearly. 3. Consequently, young children have a relatively large head. And, this causes the neck to be flexed when laying supine. These drawings from Herzenberg's article demonstrates the differences between adults and children when they are laying supine on a backboard. Here are photographs of two different children. The first does not have padding under the shoulders and the second does. Notice the differences in head flexion. The solution. One maneuver, putting padding under the shoulders, corrects two problems. This is also the exact maneuver performed to maximize positioning of young children for orotracheal intubation. The goal of the maneuver is to have the apex of the shoulders align with the external auditory canal of the ear. This article written several years ago provides excellent evidence-based explanation supporting the recommendation to place padding under the shoulders. So what we're going to do today then is to demonstrate the benefits of putting a towel underneath the shoulder. So what happens is when children are laying flat like this on a backboard, or if you're getting ready to intubate, is that the uh, uh, alignment's not perfect. And, and so uh, this will give you more, putting padding under the shoulders will give you more of a neutral C-spine and it will get rid of that anterior flexion that you see because of the large head. Some people call this the Charlie Brown effect of having a large head. I have a very simple rolled up towel here to serve as a roll. Okay, <laughs> get back over there. Uh -oh. Roll it baby. <laughs> and she, she is the most active patient I have today and she's also the cutest. So we will place this underneath her shoulder. Okay and demonstrate the uh, neutral C-spine. So notice that basically her, she now has, no longer has the uh, anterior flexion, the kyphosis and uh, the airway. Now, what's your landmarks for whether, where you're at? The situation is to have the tragus of the ear line up with the anterior surface of the shoulder. Okay, or I've always used the apex of the shoulder. But uh, clearly, clearly that is a, a better alignment. And there she goes, we've lost our patient. <laughs> okay, everyone listen up. Repeat after me three times. Open airway, neutral cervical spine. Open airway, neutral cervical spine. Open airway, neutral cervical spine. Good job, now don't forget it.